Rida asked the question that one of his non-Muslim friends, she asked him the question that why doesn't Allah, the God in Islam, show himself like in other religions, they can see God. Why don't you? Why can't we see the God of Allah in Islam? The reason, in, the reason is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Islam is the true Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If he shows himself, you will not be able to live. It's so powerful. And the example we have in the Quran in Surah Taha, then Musa alayhi salam says, Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I want to see you. So Allah says, I will show my glimpse to the mountain. You look what happens to the mountain. So when Musa alayhi salam turns his head to the mountain, Allah shows his glimpse to the mountain and Musa alayhi salam faints. That is the power of Allah. It's so powerful that we human beings in this stage, we cannot see. And the definition of Allah is given in Surah Ikhlas, chapter 112, verse number 1 to 4, which says, Qul Allahu Ahad. Say it Allah one and only. Allah Samad. Allah the absolute eternal. Lam yilil wa lam yulad. He begets not nor is he begotten. Wa lam yakul lahu kufu an ad. There's nothing like him in this. The moment you can compare God to anything in this world, he's not God. So any other religious people say this is God, the moment you can compare God to anything in this world, he is not a true. This is the four line definition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God. Any human being, whichever God he or she worships, if that God fulfills this four line definition, we agree that entity to be true God. Otherwise it's not a true God. Say he is Allah one and only, Allah the absolute eternal, he begets not noise begotten, and let me ask you a question. Which is the highest reward that you can think you can get, brother? Well the question is. follow the criteria of Surah Al-Asad, have Iman, have righteous deed, exhort the people to truth, exhort people to perseverance, she will go to Jannah Insha. But she has to follow the rules of the Quran. And if she goes to Quran, if she goes to the higher level of Jannah, if she enters, she will be able to see the face of Jannah. And we will be able to see the face of Allah. Every human being will not see only those who receive the highest award, in the next life, in the year after. Hope that answers the question. Whether do you want to see the face of Allah or not? Do you want to see the face of Allah or not? Ah, Alhamdulillah. Inshallah. We pray to Allah that may put all of us in Jannah, in Jannah the Firdos, in Jannah the Firdos, Allah, and we see the face of Allah, Inshallah. 